We must stop all of this arrogance and sectarianism amongst some of the community members that we have who only have one way of doing things. One way. There's only one way. My way or the highway. And that's it. My way or the highway. No. We have a religion that is deeply nuanced. It has a broad usul. There are multiple interpretations for many of the rulings of Islam. And beware of arrogating to yourself the role that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to His self alone. Allah knows His religion. Most of the ishtihadat of our great scholars were done by signing their fatwas with Wallahu a'lam, Allah knows best. In other words, this is the best I can do, but Allah knows best. We have to stop all of this madness where somebody says, Ya Akhi, haram. Is that mujma' alayh? Is it agreed upon? Have you studied these books? Have you studied the usul? Because there are some things that the ulama say, there's a difference of opinion. Some of the ulama differ on certain things. And you will have this. You will have opinions of ulama that say that the halal is clear, the haram is clear. And between them are gray areas. Many people don't know them. Only the ulama are expertise in these. And we're talking about the giant ulama, not people who have studied and done their Nizami course or done their graduate from uh, four years at a Islamic uh, university. No, some of the teachers I studied with studied for 30 years at the hands of their teachers. 30 years. And they have lifelong learners. Sheikh Abdullah bin Bayya, one of the greatest living scholars today, he studied from the time he was about four years old until the time he was 21 every day, five to six days a week, 10, 15 hours a day, pure study with his father and the other teachers. He memorized 10 qiraat of Quran. He memorized all of the, the dawaween of the pre-Islamic Arabs. He learned the, all of these uh, texts in Arabic grammar and learned the alfiya, the ihmirar, another thousand lines after the alfiya. He studied the kafiyah memorize the whole mashhur of the madhab of Imam Malik. Wallahi, when you see him with his piety and the way he addresses these issues, Allahu A'lam. I've heard him many times say, Allah knows best. This is the best I can do. I've asked him about a hadith. He said, it's not in the six collections. This is a level. And then we have people saying, who is Shaykh Abdullah bin Bayya? Who are these, these dwarfs? And with no offense to physical dwarfs. I'm talking about intellectual dwarfs. Physical dwarfs, that's not a problem. You know, that's the way Allah created them. But an intellectual dwarf, you created yourself. Allah gave you the ability to expand your mind. If your mind is not expanded, you are to blame. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Your ummah is one ummah. And I am your Lord. Have taqwa of me. And then he says, but despite that, they divided, they split the, and followed different books. Our book is the book of Allah and the sunnah of the messenger of Allah. But it is in accordance with valid understandings, not always in agreement, but in agreement that each one is valid. And this is the beauty of our religion. So my advice to myself and all of you, we have to be humble towards this faith. People calling one another kafir. People attacking one another verbally, emotionally, tormenting one another. And then such confusion, confusion reigns. A person wants to learn, a person wants to practice. What does he do? Everyone's saying, come to me, come to me. Don't go to him. Don't go to him. And, oh, don't read that book, don't read that book, don't read that book. Oh, don't read that book. Don't follow any of the Imams, don't follow any of the other scholars. Don't read that book, don't read this book. Follow the Quran and the Sunnah. Follow the Quran and the Sunnah. And implicit in the statement is that, for you, I am the Quran and the Sunnah. So you can't go through to the Quran and Sunnah, but through me. And before, even though there were just a few madahib, now there are as many Muslims, there are as many madahib. So, such confusion, ideological, mental, emotional, people are in a state of unrest and turbulence, turmoil.